This is day one of seven of the 2024 Corvette Caravan. Every five years, the National Corvette Museum hosts an anniversary celebration event around the Labor Day weekend, and today is the first day of the drive. Our starting point is Issaquah, Washington, just outside of Seattle, and we're heading to Spokane for the night. Oh, and where is the museum? In Kentucky. So yeah, we've got a ways to go. Ready? That's John Warren, one of the organizers and captain of this part of the leg. But before we can go, we need to register, have breakfast, and attend a driver's meeting. The local Chevrolet dealer provided breakfast for us, and the Corvette Mark Club of Seattle manned the registration table. This caravan would not be successful if it weren't for all the volunteers and sponsors along the way. Alright, now it's time to go. How long does it take to get 73 Corvettes out of a parking lot? Turns out, it's almost 8 minutes. So in order to show everyone in this video without boring you for that long, everyone gets one second. Sorry. Except the last couple of cars who were behind me. They get an aerial view. The screen will go black after a while. It's still recording. Okay. If you want to turn back on, just hit the screen. It'll turn back screen. But you don't need to. It'll, it still keeps recording. Okay, got so it. Just as long as you kind of keep it semi-straight. Whatever you can do would be great. Okay, I really sounds good. It. You bet. Thank What's you so your name? Much. Peter. Peter, okay. I gave my camera to one of the volunteers to record us leaving. However, not only did I fail to get his picture, I didn't even get his name. So whoever you are, thank you so much. Very much appreciated. So when the guy I'm going to give this to uh -huh. comes through, he says he's towards the end, um, be sure you get a picture of his car because he's going to post a YouTube video and I want to it'll, it'll tell me how to, how to find it. I think this is it. Yep, that's him. And please subscribe to my channel. It's free to do so and helps me out. Thanks. As per typical Pacific Northwest weather, we left under a canopy of rain. Now, I don't have video of this, but within 10 minutes of leaving and getting on the highway, a white Corvette got the first ticket, which was kind of surprising because we were in morning traffic. Today's first leg is 200 miles to Kennewick for lunch and was broken up with scenic and bathroom stops. And of course, looking at Corvettes. I'm in Kennewick, Washington, which is across the river from Pasco, and this is our first stop. We did stop at a rest area, but this is where the uh, Sandy Oregon group is going to come join us. So they're here. So there are a ton of vets here. Uh, just had lunch, burgers, a hot dog, tons of cars here. This is the end. It's been a good drive so far. Left Seattle with rain, of course, Pacific Northwest. Uh, but now I think everybody's gonna put their tops down because it is looking pretty nice out here. So well, this is a nice view Check this out There we go And down there is where the burgers are Right along the Columbia River As you can imagine there are a ton of C8s and there is It's been out for a number of years now so the amount that are here are just phenomenal. And a C4. That's the only C4. That's the oldest car that I've seen so far here. And the barbecue's starting to wind down. People are starting to leave. But they're still, most cars are still here. Oh, there's another C4. And I spy something a little bit older. That's awesome. Oregon too. Nice. 
Okay, so now this is officially the oldest one. Oops, sorry. Complete with side pipes. Beautiful car. I don't know if you can see that, that just pops here. Ooh, my sunglasses. It's quite an amazing color. You know, there's some incredible color combinations. Now, I would never pick those from the dealership, but you know what? It works. I don't even know what color that is. A gold brown? Green? Red inserts. Come back, I'll stay a minute. After lunch, it was a short 140 mile drive to the hotel in Spokane. So I thought, I'm going to find a group that's leaving the same time I am and drive with them for a bit. And I found these guys. We all have a route book that goes over the route and all of our stops and there's a paragraph in there commenting to just not follow any Corvette because they may not be part of the caravan. Now the bridge we were supposed to go over was under construction so we had to take a detour around it. No problem I thought, I'll just follow these guys. After all, I left with them from the lunch stop. So because I was more focused on when a group was leaving, I didn't actually look at the route book to see exactly what road to take after the detour. I just plugged Spokane into the GPS and stepped on the gas. So we're cruising along and I noticed the GPS saying, turn here. Well, they didn't. So I didn't. I figured they're taking a longer scenic route instead of the interstate. So we're on the back roads and Google keeps telling me to turn left. But they didn't and neither did I. Finally, after a couple of hours, they pulled over and told me they were staying in Idaho for the night and rejoining the caravan again in Montana. But all was not lost. It indeed was a better drive than the interstate. I got to see apple orchards, skyscrapers, and walls of hay. When we parted company, I found myself in familiar territory because I've driven this road five years earlier. It leads right past Palouse Falls. Due to the time and the gravel road, I headed to the hotel instead. In addition to telling us where to go, the route book also gave suggestions on things to do along the way. The suggestion for Spokane is a river walk. Now, based on the scenery I saw all day, I didn't expect too much, but I knew there was a big red wagon here. Well, you know, I gotta try it. The river walk is what's left after Spokane's World Fair in 1974. The majority of the pavilions were modular and were removed after the fair but a couple of them still remain, including the clock tower and this one, the U.S. Pavilion. Oh look, it's a giant yoga class. Although back in the day it was fully covered in vinyl, today it hosts a yoga class. But that's not the draw here, it's the river, and it's far from the quietness of the surrounding farmland and the rumble of Corvettes. So that was day one of the Corvette Caravan. Tomorrow we're heading to Butte, Montana and we'll be touring the Montana Prison and Car Museum. That should be interesting. So apparently you're not supposed to park down there. They're working on it. <laughs> 